Does alcohol affect your kidneys? Stay tuned, let's find out. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, click that bell so you never miss a new recipe or a new health tip. My name is Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified nephrologist, kidney doctor, and I'm also the cooking doc. All the information that we talk about today is just for your knowledge. This is not medical advice. Talk to your own doctor if you have questions about your specific case. Let's get to the question of the day. Does alcohol affect your kidneys? And the answer is, drum roll please, yes and no. Oh my God, Cooking Doc, I know what you're thinking. Why don't you ever just give us a yes or no answer without all the nuance, yes and no, this or that. Well, sorry. The way science works oftentimes is there is nuance and everybody's specific situation is a little bit different. So you're gonna learn something today but I don't have a definitive answer for all cases. If you wanna commiserate, please talk to my wife as she would like a lot more straight answers without any of the scientific hesitation. So here's the bottom line. Alcohol does not directly affect your kidneys, but there are things to know about alcohol if you drink it or if you have kidney disease that you should be aware of so you can make sure you do it safely. First, the good news. I had three people come to see me this week in the office and it's a typical discussion when they first get there. They say, well, I have kidney disease, but I've never had a sip of alcohol in my life. Or I have kidney disease and I'm just not a drinker. I barely have any alcohol, a glass of wine here or there. I don't understand why I have kidney disease. Well, here's the thing. There's not a definitive link between alcohol consumption and kidney disease. So a little alcohol consumption, a drink a day, which is a standard drink, is a five ounce glass of wine or an ounce and a half shot of liquor or a 12 ounce regular beer, does not seem to impact your kidneys. So there's no physiologic way in which that alcohol goes through the body and directly causes kidney damage. Plus, there are no real association studies that say people who have one drink a day have a higher risk of kidney disease. So we can kind of take that out of the equation. So a drink a day for most people does not impact kidney disease, does not impact their kidneys. I think a lot of the confusion comes from the fact that alcohol can definitely affect your liver. In fact, alcohol is one of the most common causes of cirrhosis. And there are actually some rare cases where people who develop cirrhosis and liver disease that's severe can also have that impact their kidneys. So alcohol can lead to cirrhosis if you drink too much and that cirrhosis can lead to kidney disease in some people. So not a direct link, but there is an indirect link for people who have cirrhosis from alcohol. But enough about the liver, I'm a kidney doctor. So if you have chronic kidney disease or if you're worried about whether or not you can drink alcohol safely. Of course, always talk to your doctor first, but there can be a big difference between if you're in stage 3A kidney disease or in stage 5 kidney disease because the impacts of what you take in in your diet, what you eat and what you drink, can be much more significant if you have stage 5 kidney disease, meaning your kidneys are not working very well at all versus if you have stage 3A kidney disease, which is mild kidney disease. So no matter where you are on that spectrum of kidney disease, a lot of people can safely consume a little bit of alcohol if they keep the following things in mind. Alcohol may interact with your medications, blood pressure medications, heart medications, diabetes medications, antidepressants. Alcohol can impact all of those things. So make sure that the medicines that you're on are not impacted by drinking alcohol. Alcohol does raise your blood pressure up a little bit. And the more you drink, the more effect it has on your blood pressure. Now, increased blood pressure puts you at higher risk for cardiovascular disease like heart attacks and stroke. And kidney disease puts you at risk for those things as well. So if you have kidney disease and high blood pressure, you're at risk for heart attack and stroke. And alcohol may increase your blood pressure some. So keep that in mind and talk to your doctor about whether or not it's safe for you to have a drink at the end of the day. Alcohol is a fluid. 
And people with stage four or five kidney disease sometimes have to limit their fluid because their kidneys are not able to get rid of the excess fluid that they drink. If you're having three beers in a day, first of all, that's too much in general, but three 12 ounce beers is 36 ounces. And if you have a limit of 50 to 60 ounces of drink per day, with just those three beers, you're almost halfway to your limit. Next, if you're like most people I know, when you have alcohol, you lose some of your inhibitions and you may have a tendency to reach for the salty snacks or the donuts in your pantry or swing by the Taco Bell drive through on your way home and get things that absolutely don't fit into your diet because they're too salty, they have too much sugar, bad for your diabetes, bad for your high blood pressure, can contribute to obesity. So be mindful of that. If you do have some alcohol, don't let it destroy your inhibition so much so that you have difficulty following your specific diet. Finally, it's definitely not safe for your kidneys or for any other organ in the body if you are a heavy drinker, and that can be 10 drinks per week if you're a woman or 15 drinks per week if you're a man, or if you're binge drinking, so that's maybe five drinks over the course of two hours in a night. All of those things can have negative impacts on your health, every organ in your body, including your kidneys, so don't do that. So what's the bottom line? Alcohol does not directly impact your kidneys, but there are downstream effects from drinking alcohol that can have some impacts, especially if you don't limit your alcohol to one drink per day. And if you already have kidney disease, there may be other things to think about when you're drinking your alcohol, about how it impacts your medicines or your inhibitions and all of the other things during the day that go into keeping you healthy. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it. Check out my website, The Cooking Docs, Kidney Healthy Cooking, a modern 10 step guide to preventing and managing kidney disease. And I will see you next time.